family member, my, bro. My cousin, my <laughs> weed smoking ass nigga don't want nothing in life. Hurricane made this one. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Cam. We here with Grove Hero, man. Mr. Garbage Ad Nigga. <laughs> Mr. Garbage Ass Nigga. What it do? Hey, what does it mean when you be saying that, man? How did that even start? Man, on some real shit, it's just so many garbage ass niggas in the world, bro. They don't got shit going. They want to smoke all day, drink all day. They don't want to get no money. Shit, you just a garbage ass nigga. What was the first example of like a garbage ass nigga you ever seen in your life? My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> How you start with your family member, man, bro? My cousin, man, a weed smoking ass nigga don't want nothing in life. Man, I seen him growing up and I was like, bro, you a garbage ass nigga. <laughs> He don't want to do shit with smoke all day, drink all day. Stupid shit, bro. Man. I was going to jail. Just siren the motherfucker, bro. You be quick as hell to call someone else a garbage ass nigga. What garbage shit you be doing, bro? I ain't going to lie. What garbage shit I be doing? <laughs> I can't say that out camera. <laughs> now, I don't really do too much garbage ass shit, though. For real, though. Like, man, I, I take care of my folks. I take care of other people I don't know. Mm -hmm. Shit, I help folk with my bread. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Ain't even just about the money. I treat people how they want to, how I want to be treated. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't really just be on no garbage ass. Shit. I be fucking with the hoes though. I ain't gonna lie. You be having a lot of hoes? Nah, don't say that, bro. I got my baby mama be watching my shit. Shit, <laughs> 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 bro, your baby mama. You be putting so many stories up. You be talking about the house in there. The funniest one I seen was the squeaky floor. In the nah, house, man. You said so you're wearing nigga. out the floor. What does that mean, bro? Shit, nigga probably be hitting it, Johnny. <laughs> well, I'm gone. I'm gone now. I ain't no telling what's going on in the crib. That's what garbage ass shit, too. Garbage ass nigga. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so today we out. Where we at right now, man? You know where we at, man. Tampa, Florida. This, uh, technically, this is my first time, really. It's really my second time, but technically, it's my first, though. In Florida or the city? Nah, in, in Tampa. Oh, okay. Not my first time visiting, but mm -hmm. my first time bringing the truck, really. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. brought the truck out. You brought the food trucks out. Yeah. You got clothing out here, dunk tank, basketball. Everything working. You putting it on for paper route right now. What does the family reunion tour really mean to you? Um, bringing, bringing our people together. Okay. Not just our people, but bringing everybody together. I think when, um... When it's all said and done, it's like every all these entities that run the world, that's that's how they running it. Mm -hmm. Just through slavery, through lying, lying like we not together, we not the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody the same. Everybody put their clothes on the same. Everybody eat the same. Everybody breathe the same. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's about bringing everybody together and, and making everybody as one. Mm -hmm. and, so. What do you what do you think like really needs to happen for our community to be able to bring more people together? Because I think like, you know, every single race be having their own economic thing going on. When you really look at it and break it down, I see a lot. I don't of people really talk see no that. other races with no bad economic shit. Yeah. It's just us. That's what I'm saying. So what do you think? That it's, our it's community the drugs. Needs to do? It's the drugs. It's the guns. It's the stuff that they put on on us. Mm -hmm. Like it ain't it ain't rocket science. If you if you in a neighborhood, if you're growing up in the hood. And this stuff is put in your face, and it's all you see. It's like you don't got a choice. Mm -hmm. If you don't got no money and you're trying to eat, what are you going to resort to? Yeah. Drugs, violence, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to find a way to eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to find a way to provide for your family, to keep a roof over their head. Or, you know what I'm saying? How often do you really see people break out of the same circular traps of what they got going on in projects? And It's hard. Like it's hard. Yeah, I, barely. You got to be a, a a chosen one to really break out, you know what I'm saying, and, and to see something different. Like, really, school got to say you were, or or um, the Army or the Navy type shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it ain't no saving you through just being over there, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no opportunities over there in the hood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of opportunities, though, you have your outreach center that you're working on right now. What are some opportunities you're trying to provide to the communities that you got within that area because you already got the basketball court but yeah. now you're working on something so major and that you really want to showcase to help the community yeah stuff we ain't never seen before like showing kids how to fish showing showing kids how to um like have financial literacy like because when we get money the first time we want to do it by shoes clothes cars 
we don't think about generational wealth, like helping our families become great years to come. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's how I've been so successful because I focus on the years to come. I don't focus on right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Most people just focus on right now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's just a lot to it, like that that I'm doing with the with the center, like that I'm gonna do with the outreach center that's gone. Like mental health. Like most of us got mental health. We going through so much stuff today and we just keep it in. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's like, another thing in our community they talk yeah. about within the men because they don't want to see men reaching Cry. out, yeah, yeah, yeah stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And it's okay to cry. Sometimes I cry. Like, I cry when she, she going good, she going bad, all type of shit. It's okay. Like, niggas need to open up more. You know what I'm saying? Get in tune with this nature, them trees and their water and shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the sun and shit. What yeah. gave you that idea of making the outreach center? She is just knowing what what, they, what the hood need. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then trying to make my own black market. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, they had the black market where it was banks. It was... Black banks, it was black nail shops, it was black grocery stores, it was black shit that people could come to and, and to empower our people. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like you can really empower it because we don't own our own currency, like our own money. But I feel like we'll be in the right step if we do own the neighborhood, even though we really don't never own it because the IRS and, you know, the white people still own it and they taxing us. But... We just got to make more money to where it don't matter that they take so much. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They said in Georgia there was actually a black community on Lake Lanier that was like a black Wall Street area. I don't remember the exact time period, but it had gotten burned down and flooded. And that's what Lake Lanier is. And, you know, they say that's a haunted lake. So that's whenever crazy. people be going in the water there, people be dying a lot. But it was a black community that was flooded and burned down. And now that lake sits on it. And uh, I don't understand what's they thing. I don't understand what's they thing with uh like trying to burn our stuff down and trying to make us be down. Like y'all already got everything y'all need and y'all <laughs> poisoning the food, poisoning the water, poisoning the earth. What more do you need to do? Like <laughs> you already winning. Like, damn. Yeah. I don't understand. Man. Um, so where are you from originally? I'm from Frazier. It's a uh, small community in um North Memphis. Who's whose phone is that? I don't know who found it is. Y'all gotta y'all gotta uh excuse that I don't know who found it is. Yeah. It's probably Tria phone. He getting text messages. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my bad. Where are you yeah. from again? I'm from Frazier, uh a small neighborhood in North Memphis. Um man, look, they all they <laughs> y'all excuse them, man. You know, this shit right here is what's going on because we in the middle of doing, you know, opening up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, don't open it. Don't yeah. worry about that right now. Yeah, so he's in the middle of Frazier. What was it like growing up there for you? My tough as hell, like any part of Memphis. Um, same shit going on, drug selling, uh, robbing, kidding. Same shit, bro. Same typical shit black people deal with, you know what I'm saying? Same shit, bro. Man. So you got a son. What's some things that you be trying to implement within your son's life? Because, you know, you post him a lot. Um, you guys went to that trip to Africa. You in the nature and stuff. So... Yeah. You can talk about that a little bit after, but what's some things you really try to build within your son? Uh, to always be a good person and don't let the money control you because some people let money control them. They treat people a certain way because they got money. They they just, you know, like, so into material shit. I want my son not be into material shit like that, but be into stuff like that, that God really gave us, you know what I'm saying? And um, really, that's it. And mm -hmm. don't let, man, number one thing, don't let no female take you down because females will take you down for real. You ever let a female do that to you? Never. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Hell nah. what's, what's one of your craziest dating stories? Uh, Damn, my phone going off too now. <laughs> <laughs> craziest dating story. Yeah. One time a girl seen my arm and didn't want to fuck with me. Really? So when did she find that out? Shit. When I, uh, I don't know, it was, <laughs> shit, when she hopped in the car. Was that the time, because I seen a story, you said you had that little pocket motherfucker. Yeah. Is that that story? Nah, it's a different story. Man. It's a different story. But yeah, it's, you know, they ho, they, they go now. They have been going, though, when I won, who I would. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So I never stopped nothing for you? Nah, hell no. Nah. You said, um, yesterday, it was raking who? Raking snake. <laughs> raking snake on, man. <laughs> 
I ain't I so crazy that I met a nigga with another arm uh, like mine. Mm -hmm. But my shit look better than his. <laughs> my shit look better. Oh God. <laughs> My shit don't look that bad. When you really look at it on camera, my shit really don't look that bad, though. Do it? Nah, it don't look he, that he bad. It don't look saying, that crazy. I think, he, no, he I'll be a dead that. ass. I would tell you if it looked crazy. He's like, just saying that shit. It just looks like a small <laughs> hand. That's all it looks like. No that's, disrespect, that's horrible, bro. bro. That's it. God, I, damn. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, Africa, that was one of my favorite trips um, you been to Africa? No, nah, I want to go. That's, like, right. one of my goal trips. But I was saying it was one of my favorite trips to see. Yeah. online like what y'all were doing because i really want to go there do some wildlife stuff yeah. i always tell people that but what was it like was there anything that you picked up over there that really stood out to you i um uh, i picked up that we are african people mm -hmm. you know like they be saying we hebrew israelites we did we did nah we african bro okay you know what i'm saying i really seen like what them people going through is the same thing we going through over here and um uh, the number one thing i like about it is everything so free like roaming around free the elephants the, the lions like just shit just roaming around free the baboons like you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and and ain't nobody fucking with them and i ain't fucking with nobody like, i love it about that shit you know what i'm saying but i just love everything about africa i love i love the fact that um uh, only thing i don't like is that they colonized by the british yeah, yeah they colonized they you know they don't they got all the, the minerals and shit but they don't know that they got the power mm -hmm. They say Africa holds like the most resources in the world. Yeah, That's the yeah. richest it's continent. The rich, yeah, yeah. But they don't. They seem to not know that because mm -hmm. they in debt with so many other countries. That's just like Haiti. Loans. Yep. That's that just, shit crazy. I don't understand. But yeah. What's some things that people don't know about you, bro? Uh, I think people know everything about me, really, because I I really put myself out there on the internet. Like I don't hide shit. Like, like. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I keep it real. Like, I don't be scared to say nothing. Like, I ain't scared of these elite people. I ain't scared of the white people. I ain't scared of nothing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to mm -hmm. say what I say. I'm going to stand by my words, and I ain't going to do no apologize. Like, I think everybody know about me, though. Like, know a lot about me, for sure. Mm -hmm. Even when I was in high school, man, I had a friend. Your boy looking through the window right now. <laughs> I had a friend, and um, he loved your content so much, like your Walmart videos where you were just frying random people. Bro, started doing that around the school. Really? Yes, bro. Damn. I'm going to have to find. I heard. Uh, and uh, by where I live, I'm by Orlando. Damn, it's hard. Yeah, but Damn. that was back in the day. I'm about to call him after this because I was just talking to him. He sent me the video you yesterday, that's but crazy. I didn't get to tell him because I was like, let me wait and see was if he I. funny, though? Hell yeah, that's one of my like best friends. For real? Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. It's hard. I'm going to show it to you after I ain't that. I never seen it. Bro, it was frying people around the whole school back then. That's crazy. What's, um, what's your favorite thing about doing the public stuff like that? Just playing in people's face like that. They don't be know what's going on. I ain't going to lie. It don't even be funny until I look at the <laughs> video. Like, I, I be so toned in, like, just on some funny <laughs> shit. Like, after I see the video, I be like, bro, this shit hilarious, bro. Like, that toothpaste I, one, man. My, <laughs> the Renata. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Bro, oh, my God. I got, and then so crazy. I got a lot of viral motherfucking videos. Mm -hmm. A lot of viral. On got, all platforms. On YouTube, all platforms. Instagram, and TikTok. Oh, God. I got a lot. I was looking at TikTok. I got like six different pages with nothing but viral content. 2.3 million. Mm -hmm. One of my videos got 80 million. 80 million views, bro. Like, that shit is crazy. You be but having I, people steal. Not my bad. Go ahead. But I ain't even tagged in the motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. You be having people steal a lot of the content too, right? Shit, yeah. But I don't. You know, I ain't tripping on that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I get rewarded on the back end. I don't be tripping. Yeah, it's like I could do a full interview. My main interview won't do that many views, and somebody steals a clip from it, put it on their page, and that shit goes up. I don't know why it's like this. And I don't get no tag or nothing. Then somebody. Just, same thing. If I do photos for an event, people will steal the photos instead of just hitting me up for it. They won't crazy. tag me. None of that stuff. I see somebody steal photos I did of an artist, put it on their catalog, and then be selling a beat saying whatever type beat of my photos and won't tag me. It don't make you mad, though? I just be like, bro, what's the point of doing that? You can just hit me up. I, I, one time I commented on the video. I'm like, oh, shout out. That's my photo. Y'all can check out more content. Bro deleted my picture, my uh, comment off his page. Man, that's <laughs> how it is, though. This a dog eat dog, bro. Everybody trying to eat. Everybody trying to find a way to... But that's not even hurting them, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you can hit me up. I got 
hundreds of photos, nah, pictures that people ain't even seen. Think about if he don't hit you up, he don't gotta hit you. Up. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. so free. Everything's so free. See, let me just get this like. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this shit, but I mean it is what it is. It's the way life is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Capitalists capitalize off people. There I go. Man, so I talked to you before we started this. You said you don't care about money. When I asked you about going back on tour again, doing a real comedy stand-up type thing, and um, like you said, it makes some people become controlled by money. So you turning down an opportunity to go tour the country again and make however much on tour, why is that? Like, I want you to elaborate on that. Because the only reason why I'm doing this shit now is to help my help with what I'm trying to do. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't give a fuck about this shit. Cause only thing money do is buy material. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all this shit do. My e folks is horrible right now, man. E folks is bullshit. I know. I don't know what they got going on with that. Yeah, but money on the buy material shit. I don't even sometimes I don't even see why people even want money. Like just think about it. People be wanting money just to buy a car or some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody getting money to really help nobody else. Mm-hmm. And it's a lot of people out here that got a lot of this shit. They don't give a fuck about nobody. It's just only them. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's maybe people that grew up with it, you think, right? And they didn't have to necessarily build it from the bottom? Or are you thinking just in general, both ways? in general, bro. Like, when you from the hood, you just get money to, to shit on other people. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't shit on other people, you get money to just... Buy shit that you don't need. Think about it. All the shit we got on, we really don't even need. We go out of our way. All go with our mama when we little. Cry and all this shit. But shit that we don't need for real. As long as you got a pair of pants, a pair of shoes, a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Seven, a, a, a week of worth of clothes. Yeah. Motherfuckers want 50 pair of shoes. Crying because the new chain came out and you ain't got them. Yep. Bro, it's a damn shame, bro. And, and, and the whole time I'm on my mama. Mad at my mom about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it don't mean nothing. Like, what, what, what is they doing for me now? Yeah. Nothing. Mm-hmm. See, what about all them J's when I was little and this shit ain't doing nothing for me right now? So you think that helped you, having to go get it yourself? Uh, Nah, not really. But yeah, in a sense. Help you in, like, the aspect, in the aspect of being financially smart with your money and having a plan for what you're going to do with it. Probably so, yeah, 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 most definitely. Because if my mama would have come and my grandma and all of them would have come been giving me, I probably wouldn't. Appreciate it like that. Yeah, yeah. Probably um, in the long run, I would have. Well, I know I would have because I'm bright. I would have been like, Mom, sorry, you ain't got to buy them for me. It's cool. I just worry. That's when you're older and you understand yeah, the money, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, coming up in Memphis, I've heard there's a Jordan – um, factory where they ship all the shoes out and stuff. So, you know, obviously everybody always going to have the newest stuff pretty easy, but you see a lot of people coming up without stuff like that over there. Like, hey, how hey, is it? Hey, hey, yeah, motherfucker, kid, you over some jades. Oh, in Memphis? Hell yeah. I'm talking about, but then it's like, in Memphis, it's like people that don't got money, they spending their money on jades. It's like they work for the jades. Mm. That's how it is. It's like they work for shoes and clothes. Bro, just think about life, bro. Everybody working just for material shit. Ain't nobody, like I said, ain't nobody working to help nobody else or be in nobody else up. Or even build their kids up. Niggas don't even build their kids up, bro. You ain't building your kids up by buying a new J for him every goddamn other week. They can be putting the money up for them to they do something with their kids. Up so they can buy a house for him or her. Or her you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For years to come. So when that child becomes 20 years old, you got... 20 houses. You bought a house a year. Mm-hmm. Now, that child never got to worry about nothing ever. But people don't think like that. What's um, some plans you're thinking of generationally for your son? Nah, just buying houses and eventually buying a house and um, building a house in Africa. In Africa? Yeah. And, and moving moving up that way. You know Where'd you go exactly? I went to uh, Zambia. Okay. I went to Livingston, Zambia. Or is that at South? Um, or, uh, yeah, okay. South yeah. That's yeah. hard. So, what type of house? Like something like a yeah, a mansion out there. For real? You you want to relocate there one day? Or yeah, but I but you know still come back to the states. Mm-hmm. But hold it up, still come back to the United States. But you know, like 
really be stationed there type shit and help build over there. Is that like your retirement type plan? Or yeah, I yeah. feel that. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people have like a plan of just like uh, working hard. Plan. Yeah, working hard, running it up, and then going MIA like yeah. off the map. I feel like I'm already kind of MIA though. Really? Yeah, like, yeah. Like I don't really like when I ain't on tour. I don't really be out like that. Like people don't see me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the only time somebody get chance to see me on tour. Yeah. You think it's because of the life you already live? Like, you've done so much stuff already and seen a lot of stuff. It's just like, if probably I ain't working. So. Yeah, probably yeah. so. Yep. What's some things you like to do for fun? Man, I like to play basketball. I like to travel. That's it, really. Basketball and travel and be with my son. Mm-hmm. I don't really fuck with too much, really, like that. Yeah. yeah. What's your son into? The game. <laughs> you know, he young, so he ain't really caught up in nothing right now. I'm just trying to see how his personality and shit gonna be right now. He don't really know too much or nothing, really. He just want to play the game, mm-hmm. so I just let him be a kid. You know what I'm saying? Until it's time to buckle down, like look, son, it's time to buckle down. Fuck the game. It's time to, you no, know? mm-hmm. it is the time to play for this shit now. I think in our community, a lot too, a lot of people don't let their kids be kids. Yeah. So. What's hey, some force him, force him to do same shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you really want to let him choose his own path? And yeah, let him choose his own path. Like I don't force nothing on him. I don't really tell him shit. I just let him do his own thing right now. Mm-hmm. He's seven years old. I mean, shit. There's only so much you need to tell him anyway. Yep. You know um, what I'm I remember looking back too. You had posted. Um, he was like painting something, and then um, he started that, and then you were really pushing him, and then. Your supporters were buying his um products that he made at that time. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, like some I don't know. He bought some shit at Walmart, like some elephants and all that, mm-hmm. some plastic, not some some glass shit, and he would paint it. And and it was funny to me, intriguing because he was like, "I want to make my own money. Like I want to make my own money." And I was like, "He was like, I want to do this to buy me some V books." And I was like, right. <laughs> "V books." Yeah. Yeah. But that shows early he already had the signs of wanting to build something of his own and make his own money and turn it into profit. You know what I'm saying? I think the hardest thing that I I, I seen my son do was outside selling water. Really? That shit was hard. That man was out there selling water. I'm talking about on a, on a busy street, just on the corner, selling water. Really? That shit was hard. Yeah, yeah. Just on his own? That was his idea? On his own, yeah. And he was bugging me. Dad, I want to go back out there and sell water. I was like, Damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. Um where can people find the Outreach Center at whenever it's built? Like you already got the Everything gonna be in my hood. When okay. I get off this tour, I'm gonna buy the land for it. Shit, that's that's the purpose of this tour, to buy the land for it and lock it down so nobody can't get it. Shit. That's it. And you already got the basketball court done yeah. too. Park already done, everything done on the park. I just need to probably put some. I want to put some palm trees on it, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it's gonna last though out there because it get cold sometimes and shit. Oh, the trees, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's about it, bro. Like, hell yeah. Um, one of the last topics, you know, I want to get into a paper route, man. Obviously, you're a paper route member. What was it like coming up, coming up and seeing Dolph grow and being around the whole journey? Because you were in the music videos back back in the day doing skits and stuff like that, and getting that support early on. So. What was that like for you? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Um, it feels so different that he gone and shit. Like, it just feel, it don't even feel real. Like, it feel like I can just call him right now and be like, bro, what's up? Or he called me. Like, I, I just miss him calling. You know what I'm saying? He'll call, just joke around, playing. Like, wait, what you doing, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. Uh, he just was a real leader, and he ain't scared to tell you what you're doing wrong or what you need to be doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? He just was a real leader. Mm-hmm. And I just respect him, bro. Like, even to this day, like, dead or gone, man got the utmost respect for me, bro. Like, man really changed my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, put me in front of people that probably would have never seen me before ever. Mm-hmm. And I can't do nothing but respect it. And show love to him forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you ever try to make music? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't my cup of tea. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Hell no. Nah. What got you into the comedy thing? Just being yourself? Being myself. I, I always was a joke, a jokester ass nigga. Just like <laughs> fuck with people and shit. You like, need a joker shirt that says jokester ass nigga. Oh, God. But I want my cut, though, since I said it, though. 
That's why I don't do it. That's why I want to cut. Anytime a nigga want to cut, I'm straight on it. I come up with my own shit. Hey, I'm playing, I come bro. up with my own shit. Got that nigga. Everything I ever came up with been my own shit. He ain't let me finish, though. My cut from the shirt straight to the outreach center. Oh, okay. Okay. I liked it. Yeah. And see, and see, you know how black people do. Mm-hmm. And see, goddamn it, start going up and making memes. Then he, man, I'm the one gave him the idea. <laughs> I mean, they gonna know who gave you the idea. I don't worry about that. But you say, yeah, you know, know how we talking go. about helping the community and stuff. So that shirt, I want that shirt stamped straight outreach center shirt. Like, okay, okay, get that done for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's some last topics you want to um, put on here, man? Man, I just want to tell people, man, don't do no drugs. Man, try to eat healthy. I'm, I ain't eating healthy at the moment right now because I'm on two. I don't like to not eat my food cause, and feed other people my food. Uh, but, man, get into that nature like I said. Uh, man, do right by people. Don't do no green shit. Man, and the rest history. Mm-hmm. Keep going on. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up. Don't be so quick to give up because this shit hard. You know what I'm saying? People be so quick to give up. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't quick to give up. Like right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Tampa might not be doing good, but guess what? You don't give up. Some people hold their head down. Like, man, you move on to the next city. That's how I go. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Don't ever give up. Don't ever be so quick to lose it, bro, because you never know where you will be years from now. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Don't focus on right now. Focus on years from now. That's true. You can yeah. go look at my channel right now. You will see me post a video, do 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. Next video, 100 views. So you really never know, you never know what's going to go. If yeah. I stop just because one video did 100 views, that means the next one ain't even going to be there at all. So. And then you young. Like, you know, like, this shit might not be going good for you right now, but get what? Say two years from now, you the hottest blogger, the hottest videographer in the world. Mm-hmm. How the fuck do you know? Because you gave up. Yeah. You don't know, bro. You got to keep going, man. That's real. Hell yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna need you to talk about Rebecca too. That just came to mind real quick. All right, Rebecca. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca. I don't even know how the fuck I came to nine. Just funny as hell, bro. Like I just started saying the shit. The shit's just so funny, bro. I just stuck with the shit. Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. Waking folks up out the Rebecca. <laughs> hey y'all. So we in Tampa, man. Grove Hero family reunion. Um, last thing, let them know where they can donate to the outreach center if they want to do nah, that. I know, you know, just come check me out on tour, man. Come pull up on the tour, whatever city you see, pull up. Tell your folks to pull up. That's how you donate for real. You got a cash app or any type cash of cash app? Uh, nah, not really. Nah, uh, you got nah, a website link? My cat. Nah. Okay. Nah. Just pull up on me on tour. Okay. Check me out on Instagram at Grow Hero Official. And shit, tap into the tour. Come pull up, buy some shirts. You know what I'm saying? Buy, you know, food. That's their support. You know what I'm saying? And they got plenty of stuff out here. Clothes, barbershop, food truck, and um, just a bunch of other vendors Hell yeah. and stuff to do. So And this shit like the black market. You pull up, you can everything black. Black on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to build our people up. Ain't nothing wrong with what them other people doing, you know? But we're trying to build our people up too. Have our own nation and have our own shit going. That's hard, You know man. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hey, Grove Hero, man. Thank you, man. Sure. Y'all y'all tap in with everything. Like I said, everything linked below. All the links. I got my clothes coming out, too. So first link, you'll see that. Support that. Second link, Grove Hero's page. All his stuff. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. All the usual stuff. But we out. Show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is hard. <laughs> Let me get out here right quick. <laughs> Hurricane Nathan.